I, I loved anything by Roald Dahl when I was a child. Uh, mostly the Twits and George's Marvelous Medicine because Roald Dahl knew that and continues to know even in death that adults are pain in the arse and children are magnificent and adults are too tall and too pointy and too bossy and children have to put up with it. It's a dictatorship of the tall uh, and they have to live and struggle and fight and laugh and they do all of those things with a plum. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, which was, um, it was written by a Belfast man. I didn't even know it when I was reading it, but I absolutely adored it. And I think if I'd known it was written by somebody from my town, it would have started me as a writer many, many years before I actually finally did it myself. Well, I got the easy part, which was just to write the few words. And then I was matched up in kind of like a literary Tinder with <laughs> PJ, <laughs> and we both swiped the right way, and here we, <laughs> and here we are, and it's worked out a treat because, as you can see, he's magnificent. So I got the easy bit, he got the hard bit. I'm might... not magnificent. The pictures, maybe, but <laughs> yeah, they came from your fair hand. Anyway, we have uh, formed a mutual admiration society. There are two members, and um, <laughs> membership has now been closed. Well, the way it happened for me was I, I got this lovely story sent to me by Ryan. And uh, it was, I just love the story because it's got the things that I'm really interested in, which is history, and it's to do with Ireland, and particularly Wexford, which is a county I love. So it, 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 it was kind of synchronicity. It was perfect in every way, you know. So I, I, and the story is really touching, and I just couldn't wait to get making the pictures for it.